because of the song. Hey. Harmony. Wow. If you're new here, hi, I'm TK, and this is TK Talks K Pop, where we do K pop reaction videos on first listens, all the good chance, but I'll reach you some of the title. You know that today I'm here to do uh, Monster X, uh, the mini album Shape of Love. I'm doing a first listen, y'all. I'm so excited when I tell you love is, is title track of the year material. What? 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 But I'm so looking forward to getting into this. Always love to hear Monster X when they come around. They're one of my favorite boy groups of all time. Like I, I think I think I've been I've stand them since pretty much since pretty much their debut. And uh, to see them to see them just get grow get so grown and seasoned. Oh, I love it! I love it, man. But uh, yes, let's uh, we're gonna start. Um, I just brought up the playlist on their channel, and it has "and" as the first track. So I'm gonna get right into it. Are we gonna be broody? Soundscape. The layers of guitars is wow. The harmonies in the back. Oh, this production is a layers. I Does this broody? Uh, yes. <sighs> oh, love the beat. Oh, sing to me. And that a vocal effect. Oh. Singing to me, though, this. This, this part for me. This build up. see this live like at a stadium it would be an experience the beat oh the bass and the and the eyelids hey Kihan sounds really good when he does that you know how singers do that hey no Kihan sounds really good when he does his hey oh 
Ooh. <laughs> so sassy. Wow. Melodies. Oh, not that being it. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, y'all, that was so beautiful. That was broody, almost kind of like punk. That that like that kind of like that like that like punk pop, like um early two thousands kind of punk pop, pop blah, blah blah. You know what I'm talking about? That type of vibe and instrumentation, but like submerged in like this kind of like just this kind of like just like um really vibey soundscape like i don't know like they were so i just i loved it i loved it absolutely loved it i love the build up in the pre-chorus to the drop and the drop was so satisfying with those like stomps and claps like that like the percussion that's like sounded like stomps and claps like i'm telling you in a stadium this song being performed live it would be a mood it would be a vibe it would be a thing it would be a moment it would be a moment. I'm telling you, I see the vision. <laughs> but I, oh no, I absolutely love that. <laughs> I mean, oh. oh my gosh, I did them out of order. Oh no, they're out of order. I'm sorry, that was supposed to be the last track. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Oh, it's okay, okay. Well, we'll go. With, we'll we'll just skip back down to burning up. We'll just. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I <laughs> feel so stupid. <laughs> so, so I just get back to break. <laughs> okay, that's knowing that that's the closer of this album. I'm interested to see like what these. Ch I'm. I feel so dumb. <sighs> we getting throwback retro. The synths. Damn, I knew it. Oh. Interesting. Maybe I didn't know it. Wow. No, I knew it. <laughs> hey. 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 Wow. It's got that, it's got that, that kind of like throwback retro sound, but it's very interesting how they're choosing to implement it. Like I wasn't expecting such like kind of like vibey, um, I wouldn't expect how the, how they put it in this like vibey instrumentation. It's also got some of that house vibe to it. Hey. Ah. It's time to go to the club. Hey. The twink was in the back. Ooh, the way he sounded. Hey. Ooh, the production is really good. Hey, there's synths in the back. Oh, it's so fun. Hey. I love the layers of the song. Hey. Melodies. It's so fun. Oh, I'm telling you. The clubs aren't ready for this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just have to, I just have to take it back. With the piano. 
Oh, it's so dramatic. I love it. Wow. See the vision. Hey, <laughs> the vocal manipulation vocoder in the end. Hey. Alright y'all, I see the vision. Monster X, Lady Gaga collaborating with a song of this, of this nature. I, do you see it? Do you see it? <laughs> I see the vision, child. <laughs> like, like, if Monster X were to ever collaborate with someone and there would be a perfect song for them to like, type of like vibe of song for them to collaborate on, it would be this with Lady Gaga. I just, I saw the vision. I, I saw it in my head. It was so clear. But y'all know that was absolutely spectacular. I enjoyed that um it was come um, it was kind of like this just kind of like electronic fusion of like all those kind of retro sounds that um like like 70s 80s um 70s 80s that the you know the, the the popular ones that are going around but it also had this kind of like house element to it in the chorus at least and it was all very like all around very vibey very clubby very like very just like just like good jam song, like a song you put on to have fun to. Um, beyond that, I really don't have much to say about it. I enjoyed it. I love their vocals on it. Like, like the way they were singing was uh, was sending me. I love the harmonies and just uh, uh, I love Monster X, man. I love Monster X. Also, the next track is Breathe. I see it's under three minutes. All right, then. How you feel it, not a bone yard. Y'all can tell I'm in California. I knew it. Songs that are under three minutes are always fucking slays. But then I get mad because they're always, uh, it's always because they're under three minutes. <laughs> How you feel it, not a bone yard. Wow. Do the bass. Wow. Ooh, it's kind of disco. Wow. The layers of this. Okay. Okay, so I wonder if this is in general like kind of like a more retro throwback type of album in terms of concept. I mean, the video was definitely that, and like the title track was definitely that, but I'm seeing this consistency. Like, it's really like a reimagining of these like kind of like retro, like nostalgic sounds, and just, just like putting this like, just like very like vibey, like. I, I don't know, it's very atmospheric. Monster X songs often have this, um, they're either super in your face, they're in, like super in your face, like, like unapologetically, like sensual aggressive, or they're like moody, they're like moody sensual, but like, it's <laughs> like still in just like this, like charismatic way. It's weird. It's weird. I don't know how to explain that, but, um, <laughs> The point is, I'm noticing a theme, and I like the theme. Wow. Harmony. Oh, 
Wow! The sense those ah, oh, those ah. You see, under three minutes. That flute. Oh. The chords. Whoa. <laughs> this is not fair. Why is this song? Percussion, the drums, and the horns. Bring the nineties in. Oh, so is it like oh? <sighs> wow. Oh, this production is insane! I can't believe that song's under three minutes. <laughs> okay, y'all, that song was like low key a masterpiece. Like, like I didn't like. I feel like there's like. I feel like there's uh, so much to love and appreciate just just about that song in like every way, shape, or form of it. Like it was like a journey through like different eras of like sound and it just like kept moving forward, like uh, to me at least, as the song progressed and the beat changed and the melodies changed and they added and dropped things from the production. It was really well done. Like it's there, like, like, I know I'm complaining that it's under three minutes, but um, I actually feel like that is a perfect, like, that was, I feel like actually that's a perfect length for this type of song and just like the journey it took your mind through and listening to it. Like, I don't know, there was so much nuance in it too. Ooh, that's a, that's a song, ugh. Oh, that's a song you listen to so many times and then you notice more things you love about it each and every time. Harmonies. There are harmonies. I just, I just, oh. you know, I'm gonna go on.